I want to help you today to make a really simple connection. A lot of times when I talk to people, they are struggling to hit their goals for whatever reason. And this is everybody, every industry, everything you can imagine, whether it's weight loss goals or business goals, people struggle to hit their goals. And one of the challenges with goal setting is that a lot of us are really good with coming up with the end point. Like, hey, I want to lose 50 pounds. Hey, I want to build a $10 million business. But the challenge comes with breaking that down into actionable chunks, whether it is per year, per quarter, per week, whatever. And so today I want to focus on the per week side of things because that's where a lot of the magic really happens. And so when I sit down and look at somebody's 90-day plan and they say, hey, over the next 90 days, here are the three or four major things that we want to accomplish as a company. Those are our big goals. And then I start looking at the week-by-week -week breakdown of what they have, and I'm like, well, I'm looking here at your weeks, and I'm four weeks in, and I don't see enough action that actually maps to your goals. So you've got three to five goals every single week, but they don't necessarily help you get any closer to your quarterly goal. And so they'll look at me kind of like with this deer in the headlights, and I'm like, do you, do you understand the problem? Like, it's great that you want to accomplish these three to five things every week, but where's the action or actions that actually help you accomplish your quarterly goal, which is going to help you accomplish your annual goal, which is ultimately going to get you to your end goal? So, for example, let's say I want to make, um, you know, 300 calls per month. So that's really overwhelming looking at that and saying, hey, I want to make 300 calls, whether it's in a month, whether it's in a quarter, whatever it may be, it's really overwhelming to take a look at that. But if I step back and I say, okay, well, this goal is my quarterly goal. And so that's what we're going to do here. This is the quarterly goal, 300 calls. And I say, okay, well, if I divide that by three, that's 100 calls a month. If I divide that by four, that's 25 calls a week approximately, right? Now the goal is not so overwhelming, but now I have a weekly goal of, hey, I need to make 25 calls this week that actually maps directly to my quarterly goal. You see the difference there? Whereas if you just put, hey, I'm going to make 300 calls, but then every week your goals are like, hey, I need to reach out to Bob and Suzanne about this. I need to reach out to this contracting officer. Hey, I need to write an email uh, that'll help me with my follow-up phone calls. Those are all good. You probably need to do all those kind of things, but those aren't mapping directly to the need to make 100 calls this month. And so that's what I'd like for you to do with your goals right now is take a look at your goals and say, hey, on a weekly basis, am I actually doing things that map directly to my long-term goals? And if not, how am I going to change that moving forward? Because you don't have to all of a sudden start making 25 calls or whatever it is. You have to look at your goals and say, what are the action steps on a daily, weekly, monthly basis that will help me accomplish that? And if you break it down in these little bite-sized chunks, it makes accomplishing this stuff so much easier. I guarantee it. If you have questions about this, as always, you know how to reach me. We'll see you next time.